today we'll see a very small topic which is tularemia this is also a zoonotic infection coming under miscellaneous uh, infections the agent of tularemia is francisella tularensis the mode of transmission may be ingestion of infected food and water inhalation of infected aerosols or biting or blood sucking insects such as ticks and mites now we'll see the clinical manifestations the clinical manifestations include ulceroglandular tularemia which is the most common clinical manifestation which is seen in 75 to 80% of the uh, people suffering with tularemia the ulcerative lesion is there at inoculation site uh, leading to regional lymphadenopathy so this lesion will occur mostly at the inoculation site and it can lead to regional lymphadenopathy other forms seen may be ulcero oculo glandular tularemia oropharyngeal pulmonary and uh, typhoid like illness Uh, the eyes may be affected so it is oculo glandular oropharynx may be affected so it is oropharyngeal and pulmonary and typhoid like illness the complications include suppurative lymph nodes uh, acute kidney injury hepatitis empyema pericarditis meningitis endocarditis and osteomyelitis so basically the whole all all of all the organs will be affected such so as the kidney leading to acute kidney disease the liver hepatitis heart pericarditis and endocarditis bones osteomyelitis brain meningitis um uh, lungs and pyma lymph nodes suppurative lymph nodes etc it is also uh, uh, it can also be used for bioterrorism uh, category a lab diagnosis first in lab diagnosis the specimen collected will be from ulcer scrapings or lymph node biopsy so since ulcers formation is seen lymph node formation is lymph node uh, it affects the lymph nodes so specimen will be from ulcer scrapings or lymph node biopsy and uh, while carrying the specimen biosafety level 3 must be followed to prevent the lab acquired infections the culture since it is a fastidious organism it grows on very less cultures and one of the cultures which uh, can be used is bcg agar blood cysteine and glucose agar identification it can either be by automated methods or conventional biochemical tests antibody detection it can either be by elisa or agglutination tests including latex and tube agglutination test uh, also pcr assay can be done to detect the genes including omp genes which are the outer membrane protein genes the treatment uh, the method of treatment is by gentamicin which is the drug of choice is given for 7 to 10 days which is uh, similar to plague only the alternative drugs given can be doxycycline or ciprofloxacin thank you